They can find some graffiti kids, but not the criminal that burnt a foreigner's face. A British international university student was attacked by a Korean stalker in his 20s on Friday night, resulting in the girl receiving second degree burns. An unidentified suspect sprayed a flammable substance on the victim's face, ignited it with a lighter, then fled the scene. Apparently a month ago, the victim reported that this guy was stalking her, but the police didn't do anything about it at the time. Luckily, it was not life-threatening, and the police are still trying to track down the criminal. In quickie news, the police have arrested two teenagers for drawing the 44 meter long graffiti on the walls of Kyungbo Palace. A 17 year old boy and his accomplice, a 16 year old girl, were arrested yesterday in Suwon. I'm honestly surprised that the police were able to find all the people that graffitied the Kyungbo Palace while still not being able to find the stalker. I wonder if the police aren't prioritizing this crime because she's a foreigner. In disability employment news, 457 public organizations and private companies failed to comply with the disability employment obligations in this year's data. Under the Act the Employment Promotion for People with Disabilities, public institutions are required to have 3.6% of the workforce made up of people with disabilities and 3.1% for private institutions. If this act is not met, the company will be fined at least 1.2 million won per person that they are required to hire. I actually didn't know this existed. It is kind of cool, but I did notice most companies just pay the fine. Before when I was trying to get a corporate job, I did wonder why all these major corporate companies were hiring specifically people with disabilities.